Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for another encounter, a counter series 43. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so happy. Uh, a counter 43. And God has uh, been faithful. God has been faithful to us. God has been faithful to us. And I just want to thank the Lord for what he has done for us. We just want to bless the Lord for his faithfulness. Shall we pray? If you're joining us on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, I just want to say to you that we appreciate you. We appreciate you. And for those joining us on you, uh, Zoom, we appreciate you as well. Um, we want to thank you for tuning in. And if you're one of those that are tuning in afterwards, we still want to thank you as well because... Um, you are blessed. You are mightily blessed and we give thanks and glory to God. Uh, blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Um, I remain Emmanuel Oladoni Damiro. I'm your host for tonight. Shall we just close our eyes and pray? Heavenly Father, King of glory, we thank you. We bless you. We magnify you for your faithfulness upon us, for taking us this far, the 24th of March 2021, we just want to thank you, Lord, for what you have done for us, for your faithfulness, for your mercy, for your protection, for your guidance, for leading us, for your Holy Spirit upon us. We thank you. We bless you, Lord, because you are a marvelous God, because you are a glorious God, because you are a merciful God, because you are a wonderful God. We thank you. Abba, Father, accept our thanks tonight in the name of Jesus. As we go into this program, our Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you will lead us from the beginning to the end, and your name will be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's 
just uh, worship the Lord uh, with this song. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. You deserve, you deserve it. Elohim, 
By the power of your name, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim, and Adonai, it will just do the same, El Shaddai. So one of my friends sang this song, sometimes, long time ago, it says, I know, even if the world no say so, I will let them know. Everywhere I go, even if I fall, you catch me, you raise me, you not throw away me. I don't know if any other person is like me, like the Love me, oh, Papa. Oh, oh, Daddy. Because you love me, too. Now only you I know. Now only you, only you I know. Even if the world don't say so, I will let them know. When I fall, you catch me, you raise me, you not to away me. I don't know if any of you see. Oh, if you love me like the way you love me, oh, Papa. Oh, oh, Daddy. Because you love me. El Shaddai, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, it will just you the same, by the power of your name, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Elohim and Adonai, it will just you You 
Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Come on, let's sing that together. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Come on, let's sing one more time. Oh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Yahweh Alpha and Omega is our beginning, is our ending, is our Alpha, is our Omega, the beginning and the end. The I am that I am, the lily of the valley, the one that was, that is, that is to come. Jehovah Yahweh, Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Adonai, the one that created time, we call him the timeless God, created age, we call him the ageless God, Obakparo, Agomadagamo Paroji, Arubojo, the lily of the valley. The one that says yes, and no one can say no. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus wherever you are appreciate the Lord appreciate the Lord for his faithfulness for his mercy for his protection for his guidance upon us for his um, uh, for shielding us even during this pandemic he has uh, protected us he has given us every reason every reason to glorify his name uh, I just want to appreciate you wherever you are watching from, uh, from uh, anywhere in the world, Nigeria, Africa, Jamaica, in the Caribbean, uh, United States of America, United Kingdom, wherever you are watching us from, I brought good tidings. And I want to welcome you to this season, the season of our encounter, uh, encounter 43. Um, we are at the end of this month. Um, we're going to give Thanksgiving by next week, Wednesday. It's going to be a powerful week. It's going to be a powerful day. We're going to thank the Lord like never before, exactly this time next week. And um, come worship. Come worship with us. Come worship. And uh, we're going to worship the Lord in a different way next week uh, because it deserves the glory. It deserves the honor. The song says, You deserve the glory. And the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory and the honor, Lord, we lift our hands in worship. As you praise your own, for you are great, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great.
way. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. There is none like him. There is none like him. He's God all by himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So tonight, um, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, brethren, um, I want to uh, welcome you to this season. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, being yourself. Uh, this topic came about when I was meditating uh, about uh, the present situation we are as people, as people and as people of God and as people in Christendom. And as people in Christendom, as believers who is in the world, and I see a lot of stuff that I think we I need we need to put uh, the, the Holy Spirit just ministered to me that this topic will we will is something we will benefit from. Um, the Spirit led me to uh, uh, want to share this message, the good news of God concerning you being yourself. You being yourself. Who are you? A lot of us know ourselves as who we are. But we are not who we are. We are not who we are. Ask me why I say this. The reason being that... Pardon me. The reason being that... Um, the reason being that... We are in a perilous time and there is a lot of mixture, a lot of stuff that are mixed together and we can't really identify things unless by the Holy Spirit, unless by the Spirit of the Lord. Who are you? Who are you? But as a Christian, I want to put to you tonight that you are a peculiar person, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. A person special before God. I want you to begin to have confidence in yourself. Hallelujah. I want you to begin to have confidence in yourself. I want you to begin to think about who you are. And that's the introduction for tonight's discussion that the Lord has put before us. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you for another season, season 43. We want to discuss your word concerning who we are, who we are in you. Abba Father, lead us. The speaker is nobody. He's just a young man who is evangelizing. Father, lead me right in the name of Jesus. And as many that will listen to this word, oh Lord, touch them. Touch their heart in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as they listen to this word, they will not just listen, but they will make use of these words in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you for all everyone that will be a partaker in this program. Father, we pray, O Lord, that as they listen to your word, Father, Lord, your word will do great and mighty things in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So, who are you? Being yourself is being the real you. 
the real you. The real you. I know many of you, even including me, will be will bear witness that we have experienced a situation in our lives that we do not know who we are until we begin to discover ourselves. And to God be the glory, if you are opportuned and you have an encounter with the Holy Spirit and God is able to show you who you are, then you need to give thanks to God. But as Christian, we need to understand that we have a we have a a need. We have a need to understand who we are. It's very very important for us to understand who we are because being yourself in Christ is a very very important aspect of our Christian Christian life because. It helps us to know, it helps us to know and understand that we are a child of God. One, it helps us to know that we are a child of God. That's number one. It helps us to understand why we are a child of God. And three, it helps us to build confidence in ourselves that you are a child of God and it builds your confidence if you understand and you can you can if you understand the reason why Jesus died for you. Hallelujah. We're gonna take our text from uh, Romans Romans uh, chapter Romans chapter Romans chapter Romans chapter 12 verse 2 I'm trying to share my screen Romans chapter 12 verse 2 so that we can read we can read this through Romans chapter 12 Okay, I believe we can see this. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, I beseech you, therefore, it says, I beseech you, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And the, and, the, and, the, uh, and the next verse says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing, renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that God, that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And perfect will of God. You see, this is what I was talking about. That uh, we need to understand. Who, you need to understand who you are. If you understand who you are, then you will be able to uh, uh, be yourself. You know, be, and being yourself is a very, very important aspect of your life as a Christian. Being yourself, you know. If you be yourself, you will be able to understand that God himself is interested in you. You know, you will be able to, you won't be able, you won't be carried away with the things that you see at the moment. When I look into social media, I see a lot of stuff going on and I will be wondering, I'll be, I'll be wondering that if this, if this, is uh, what is going on in the world, then who are we? We have to be ourselves. And one of the reasons why the Holy Spirit led me to, uh, into, this, uh, into this topic because God himself is interested in you. God himself is interested in you. I, I will read from another version. It says, and do not be conformed to this world. 
any longer with its superficial, with its superficial values and customs. There is a lot of superficial values, you know, that can be enticing in the world there. You know, it can really be enticing that if you're not careful, you can be carried away. And one of the things that the Lord, the, the, the scripture tells us is to be contented. If you are a Christian, one of the things you need to first learn to train yourself and ask the Holy Spirit to build in you is contentment. If you are contented, then you will appreciate God more. The little the Lord does for, do for you, you will appreciate God in that manner. And you'll be believing in God that greater mighty things will come. Because God does not despise a new beginning. Even if you are here today, number one, you can rise. You can rise. Those that made it today, name them. Bill Gates, you know, name them. Any rich man in the world, they started from somewhere. So if you are contented, you as a Christian, being yourself, wherever you are at the moment, then you can begin to, you can be contented and be yourself without uh, 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 indulging in anything or being chantized or uh, 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 carried away with the things of the world. The scripture says, and do not be conformed to this, to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs and be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself for yourself not for anyone for yourself you know what the will of god is that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you one of i mean one that was listening to a man of god and he was saying something about you as a christian if you say you are a christian and you are a born again your appearance dictates the kind of person or partner that comes to you your appearance dictates the kind of person if you are followed by a yahoo boy say for example so the man quotes quote and unquote said if a yahoo boy is chasing you that he wants to marry you and he says i love you then check yourself check your appearance check how you come across that means there's still something you have not been yourself you have not it says you cannot sow a, 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 a maize and reap uh, um, a yam. Whatever you sow is what you get. How you come across is the kind of people that attract to you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Because how you come, how you come across, how you present is the kind of people that will get attracted to you. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. Being yourself. Being yourself is so, so important that you need the, 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 the Lord's guidance, the Lord's contentment. You know, you have to be yourself in every situation, in every of your activities, in every of your... It's not, what you, it's not doing something and you having something else in mind. You have to be yourself because you are a chosen generation. And when you be yourself, guess what's going to happen to you? The Lord will locate you. Let's look into another, another scripture. Uh, Psalm, uh, let's look into Psalm 139. 139. 139 verse 4. He said, I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. If you realize that you are, you are made in God's image, you will be yourself. You won't get carried away. You won't think when you do all your makeups or when you put all your stuff in. No, I'm not saying you shouldn't look good, but being yourself in your attitude, 
is what I'm talking about here, in your behavior. And your behavior is determined by, the, by how much you adhere to the scriptures. How much you know your, your creator. Because if you are made in God's image, beloved, you will understand that you are made in God's image and you will do great and mighty things. Exploit, great exploit. Hallelujah. You will do great and mighty exploit. And that's what the scripture says. It said those that know their God will do great exploit. So this scripture, Psalm 139, I'm reading the verse 4. It says, I will give thanks and praise to you, God. For, why are you giving thanks? For you are fearfully made and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works because the work of God is so great. He said, everything I created is good, including you. He created you. He created you. He created me. So if you know your God, you will do great exploit because you are made in his own image. So be yourself. Be yourself. You know, I remember the story of um, David in the book of Psalms. And when um, David was, um, David was um, spotted, you know, when, 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 let's read into, let's go into that book. Um, uh, the first, I think it's, um, the, it's uh, first Samuel 16. Let's, let's take the chapter 16. First Samuel 16. You see, I'm so when I was when anytime I read that Bible verse, I'm so so happy because it tells you what you need to know about this topic I'm teaching. First Samuel 16. Okay. I'm going to read the um, international, no, King James, read the King James version first. It says, so it was. I will read from verse, instead of reading, I will read from verse 6. I will read, so that because of our time, I will read from verse 6. It says, so it was when they came that the, he looked at Eliab and said, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. You know, this story is so, so amazing that, you know, wherever, if you be yourself, wherever you are, the Lord will locate you. But if you are not yourself, you want to be a follower, a follow, follow, oh, these people have done this, I'm going to do this, not understanding who you are, not understanding or believing that you are a child of God. You know, so... You, if you are you, you, then if you, are, if you if you don't know yourself then you will you will just stumble into anything you will be oh they did this they made it so I will do this I will make it no everybody has his own destiny but you as a Christian there is assurance for you that if you Walk in his way, he will bless you. He said everything. The Bible makes it clear. He says everything we, he, 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 we want, he has given unto us. That's what the scripture says. And he says you are a peculiar person, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. You know, he made it so clear. And those are the words that make you strong if you if you believe in the lord and you adhere to his to his uh, 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 to his to the scriptures hallelujah so i'm going to continue on that first uh, samuel 16 verse uh, 6 it says so it was when they came that he looked at eliab and said surely the lord's anointed is before him but the lord said to samuel do not look at his appearance. You see how God is directing his people. He told Samuel, he said, do not look at his appearance 
or at his physical stature because I have refused him. You see, when Samuel wanted to identify the anointed one in the, in the house of Jesse, and he brought all of his, he brought some of his children, the elders, his favorites, some of the ones that he believed that, oh, these are the ones. He brought them. That's why what we see is not what God is looking at. So if you are following the world, you will find yourself, if you, are not, if you don't be yourself and you are following the world, you find yourself where you do not plan. Because the world is just the world. It says our, our ways is not his ways. His ways is not our ways. So if you want to see things from his ways, then you have to be in spirit. Ask God for the spirit of the Lord to lead you. So let's read on. It says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I have refused him. That was the first presentation. He said, For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Hallelujah. Exactly what I've just said. Because the Lord, if you if you be yourself, then you will begin to see the glory of God in your life. Not because of appearance. Don't be carried away. If you want to choose a partner, or you want to involve in a business, or you ask, seek the face of the Lord. What is the Lord saying concerning this? If you do that then, you will not go wrong. Trust me, you will never, never go wrong. Verse 8. So Jesus called Abinad, Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. That's another one. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. That's what Samuel said to him. Because Samuel was in spirit. He can hear from God. And he knows. Then, in the verse 9, he said, Then, Jesse made Shama. And Jesse is trying, you no? Know, all of his favorite children, he keep asking them to pass by Samuel. And he said, Jesse made Shama pass by. And he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. That's what Samuel said to him. Then Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. What happened? And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen this. Because Samuel is the spirit. You know? So if you be yourself, trust me, the Lord will showcase you. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will cause his glory to shine upon you. Amen. Let's go into verse 11 because of our time. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, Jesse said to him, There remains yet the youngest. And there he is keeping the sheep. Now, you see what Jesse did? Because out of his own selfish he pushed his favorite children forward. He pushed them forward. The one that he never put his mind on, he left that one outside to keep the sheep, which is David. You know? Until when, if the Lord had not directed Samuel, this is how he would have been misled. And he would have anointed the wrong person. And that is what is happening in the world. We look at things. If we, I mean, look at some, some part of our countries in Africa. People do things because they are bribed. They are giving this. They go by. They, they left the truth. They don't want to know what the Lord is saying concerning that situation. They vote for the wrong person. You choose a partner. You choose the wrong person. Just because the person is a... I mean, I remember in those days when you want to marry in Africa, the, the first thing your parents will ask is, is he a doctor? Or is he a nurse? Uh, is he a, 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 a lawyer? 
Or is it a, those are the things they ask you. So does it, does it mean that a plumber is not created by God? Or God does not have a plan for them? A bricklayer? Or a, a, uh, an evangelist? Or, a, or someone? It's your other profession. An environmentalist? A marketer? Are they not created by God? Don't they have, are those not a profession? I remember a story of a family that the, the father said, no, you can't marry this guy because the guy is just a, he studies zoology in school. And uh, he's just working, he's trying, he's, 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 he asking for his business plan and he said he wants to have a poultry. Instead of looking more beyond what the career is, what kind of mind is this guy having? Is he a humble guy? Does he have the fear of God? They don't look at that. They look go by the profession. By the profession. They go by the profession. And this is exactly what I am talking about. You know, when you see when you see things that happens and you go by what you see, not asking what is the mind of God concerning this. You know, what is the mind of God concerning this? We need to know. So if you don't know, you will be carried away. Now let's go into um, let's go into uh, verse 10. Verse 10. Say, thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has chosen this. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young, I mean, the Lord has not chosen this. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, There remains yet the youngest, and there he is keeping the sheep. He left him out there keeping the sheep. Hallelujah. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down until he comes here. You see how powerful God is. He said the, the table will not be set until the, the youngest comes. Yes, because the youngest, that youngest is the anointed one. Now let's go to verse 13. And he said, Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. Hallelujah. I want to ask you tonight that you pray that the Lord will locate you. When you be yourself, that the Lord Almighty will locate you. The Lord Almighty will locate you in the name of Jesus. The Lord begin to ask God to locate you right now in the name of Jesus. That his oil of oil will be poured upon you for his glory in the name of Jesus. And you will begin to do great and mighty exploits because you are a royal priesthood, because you are a holy nation. You, because the Lord has plans for you. If you be yourself tonight, just be yourself because the Lord has, is ready to is ready to, 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 to bring you to the limelight. Just begin to ask God for his faithfulness. Just begin to ask God for his mercy. That's God, have mercy upon me. I want to be myself. I want to continue to be myself. God, have mercy upon me. God Almighty, have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. God, have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. God, have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let your mercy speak for me. Your divine favor go before me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, son of David, have mercy on me. 
let your mercy speak for me. Your divine favor go before me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Ask God of Son of David to have mercy upon you tonight, that the Spirit to be yourself, the Lord will enthrone on you tonight in the name of Jesus. The Spirit to be yourself, to not be a follower, to not go, you just see what is, you just see what is in the physical. You see more than that. And the Lord will lead you begin to ask God to begin to touch your inner mind. To begin to touch your inner mind. To begin to touch your inner mind. Beloved, begin to pray that the Lord will touch your inner mind in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will touch your inner mind in the name of Jesus. That the Lord will touch your inner mind in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will touch your inner mind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just the same way he has located David among all his brothers. Begin to ask God to locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask God to locate you tonight. 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 Oh, have a father locate me. Have a father locate me. Have a father locate me. By the power of your resurrection, locate me tonight in the name of Jesus. Wherever the devil has put me in the hidden, Father, Father Lord, with my not be, with me not being myself, Father Lord, begin to begin to showcase me, begin to showcase me, begin to showcase me. Just for you, the way you have showcased David, because the way you have anointed David, because the way you have pulled David out of his blood, out of his household, Father Lord, begin to locate me, begin to locate me, begin to cry unto God to locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. At the power of the resurrection, he will locate you tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you barren and you feel, oh, when is God going to answer my prayer? I assure you tonight, ask God to locate you. The Lord will locate you tonight. 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 Begin to ask God to showcase you. Begin to ask God to touch you. Begin to ask God to touch you tonight. Oh, Holy Spirit, touch your people in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, touch your people in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, touch your people in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have a Father, touch your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says there is someone watching me right now that is believing God for something. He's trusting the Lord. And he's asking God, when, 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 when? That's the question I'm, I can hear in my spirit. That when, when, when are you going to do this? I assure you tonight that if you be yourself, just be yourself. Begin to act into the words of God. Just be yourself tonight. Just be yourself. And the Lord will meet you at the point of your need. That before, before this month runs out, I, I can assure you, the, you will smile in the month of April. You, you will smile in the month of April. The Lord says he will make you smile in the month of April. You are watching me right now, and the Lord said I should tell you that you will smile in the month of April. That when, that question you are asking, when, when? The Lord said it is now. The time is now. The time is now. The Lord said you should make, just be yourself. Be yourself in Christ. Be yourself in Christ and act into his words. And he shall meet you at the point of your needs. Just like he has met, he, he, he surprised the woman with the issue of blood. Just have faith in the Lord. And the Lord, the Lord Almighty will meet you at the point of your need. Uh, beloved, I just want you to begin to thank the Lord for what, is about, what he has done tonight. Be
Because God said he's gonna he's gonna meet you at the point of your need. Do that question when when we can begin to cancel it in your say it is now, 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 because he will meet you. He has come to meet you at the point of your need. He has come to meet you at the point of your need. Just be yourself, just be yourself, just be yourself, just be yourself, and as you do so. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We glorify you. We magnify you, Lord. We reference you tonight that you are God all by yourself. You, no one, no man can share your glory. No man can share your glory. You are God all by yourself. You are God all by yourself. We thank you, Lord, for the, that word that has come forth. Father, Lord, we pray, Lord, that that word will be a blessing unto many. That word will be a blessing unto many. That word will do great exploits in your lives in the name of Jesus. That you will give testimony to the glory of God. Father, Lord, we pray, oh Lord, that as you have, as you have, as we have listened to the word, oh Lord, this word will be a, a guide, a shield a power unto us in the name of Jesus. And as many that have that are yet to listen to this word, was, well, as soon as they are listening to your word, Father Lord, those words will touch them. You touch their lives around in the name of Jesus. I want to commit myself unto you, O oh Lord, that even on the last day I will never be found wanted in the name of Jesus. Your word will be a strong power for me in the name of Jesus and I commit my family to your care Father Lord that we will never be found wanted in the name of Jesus. Thank you Lord for answering prayers. We bless your name we give you glory in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen, Amen Amen. I'm so excited about what the Lord is doing tonight uh, because God is faithful God is faithful. Say to somebody that be yourself be yourself. Be yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every Wednesday we meet on this platform um, and um, at 7 o'clock UK time. I know the time is changing next week, so we will go back to the our uh, usual time, which is 7 o'clock, still 7 o'clock, but it's going to be 6 o'clock from next week. And um, I want to welcome you again next week. We're going to have a Thanksgiving service next week, the last Wednesday of the month of um, match, it's going to be loud. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait because God is faithful. God is faithful. Uh, we can't but thank the Lord for what he's doing in our midst. We, can, we, we can't but thank the Lord for his faithfulness. We can't but thank the Lord for his mercy. We can't but thank the Lord for his protection. We can't but thank the Lord because he's a faithful God. And so, next week let's join me once again on the encounter series 44 and bless the lord that it's going to be amazing and um i want to appreciate everyone on youtube on facebook on zoom joining us i will pray oh lord that the lord will be with you the lord will be with you please this will be permanent these blessings of today will be permanent in your life in the name of jesus and you will never be found wanted the blessings of the Lord will keep increasing because it's a God of again and again and again. I will continually bless you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. And so, if you want to get in touch with us, you can get in touch with us uh, on Facebook as Emmanuel Demiro or on our page, Solid Rock Evangelical Outreach uh, on Facebook and on Instagram, Emmanuel Demiro. I am Emmanuel Demiro. And on YouTube, Emmanuel Demiro. And, um, you can send us a message you know, to our WhatsApp number 74 And I will look forward to test your testimonies. And as you do so, the Lord Almighty will bless you. And we just want to say, thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all. Our souls are found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, we give 
give you thanks, oh Lord. Thanks, thanks. We give you thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. Our souls are found rest, oh Lord. So we can share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely the Lord's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace, and the Lord will be with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you come, and I will see you again. Could go and build a property business and get it. Come on, everybody, open your mouth and worship the Lord. He's worthy of the glory. He deserves the praise today. Come on, everybody, all over the room, open your mouth and worship him. Lift your hands and bless them in this place. Your simple song.